Hey everyone, in this video you're going to learn how to make a semi-realistic looking eye using Nomad Sculpt. With the latest release as of recording this video, you'll see how easy it is to make the eye. The first thing to do is to delete the default sphere. It's not really a sphere, but instead you want to open up a UV sphere. You may also find it helpful to turn on the wireframe. It helps you when you're drawing your mask. Next, select the gizmo tool. Then tap on the additional options. Under matrix sphere, you will see the rotation numbers. Select the red one and type in 90. Then before doing anything else, duplicate the sphere and hide the duplicate. Now select the mask tool and begin drawing out what will become your iris. Once you get it right, you can invert the mask and then we will be able to manipulate it. Next, we go back to the gizmo tool and then we'll be able to manipulate the selection. If this is not working for you, make sure to go under the gizmo settings and make sure under transform operation, it's set to auto. Then you should be fine. Then just move it a little bit in. Then choose the inflate brush and select subtract. Using this method, I also use the smooth tool so that it can have a nicer result. Once you're happy with the shape, go back to your mask tool. Then you may choose to invert your selection once again. With the mask tool selected, choose subtract. Make the selection smaller because now you'll be making the pupil. Now you just take the same steps as you did before. The only difference is that you will make it a little bit deeper. Now with that basic shape the way you like it, we can move on to some detailing and also painting. Select the stamp tool. Then to save a little time, I used an alpha that I imported of a pupil and then that allowed me to get the texture. You don't have to do it this way, you can also manually sculpt it, but this saves you a bit of time as well. If you'd like me to explain a little bit more about alphas in a future video, let me know in the comments below. Remember to lower the intensity of the stamp tool to get similar results like me. Once you're satisfied with that, then move on to painting. Select the paint tool and then select the color that you like and start painting. As a side note, I kept symmetry on when laying down the base color and later I turned it off when I was doing the details. Here you can see me continuing to add further details to the eyeball and really this part is up to you, how you want to finish the eye. Once you're happy with your paint job, now we can turn on the other sphere for the finishing. Here I'm going to use the inflate brush to make that lens that sits right in front of the pupil and this is only for a realistic eye if you need to do that. For this as well, the intensity on the brush is very low so that I can slowly work my way up to the shape I like. Now this is where it all comes together. When you select the materials, choose refraction and turn everything down and then now you'll have that nice glossy eye that you're looking for. You may notice that the pupil is a little blurry and I think that's the limitation of Nomad currently. But there's a little way around it where you can use post process and add a little bit more contrast and you should have a nicer result. Just keep in mind you're doing this on an iPad or even on a phone and it is really amazing that we're able to do that. A few years ago we were unable to do this sort of thing. So it's amazing how far the technology have come and how many more persons have access to it. So there you have it, that's how you make a semi-realistic eye using Nomad Skull. If you'd like a little clarification, please ask your question in the comments below and I'll respond to the best of my ability. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.